Hi friends, my name is George Muñoz. I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador. So glad to see you again and in this video we're gonna talk about my very first day on the flight school. Coming back from a near 5 month vacation due to the whole pandemic thing going on in my country and all around the world. My day starts at 6 am when I wake up and decided to prepare myself a good old cereal bowl. Which was kinda weird for me because there was someone else in the kitchen by the time I wanted to film this and I ended up ashamed. Oh well. I ate in my room while watching Smite, the greatest MOBA of all time. The cereal was delicious by the way, I'm such a great chef. I took a shower, cleaned myself and by 7am I put on my uniform for the first time since March. As you can see here I keep my clothes extremely organized, lol. Took my backpack, which I also haven't seen since March and I noticed it was a little dirty. So I cleaned it up and put in all the stuff I'm gonna need for the day. I see myself one more time in the mirror and see nothing but success. At 8 am I part on my merry way, excited to see my student for the first time in months. By the way, this video was filmed on August 25. The whole airport just reopened to the students one day before. Of course, all of us flight instructors made a flight check right and theoretical exam the week before, just to make sure we haven't forgot how to fly. By the way, I know there is not much people following this channel right now, but I wanted to start a blog, so I thought what other day could be better to start than the first day coming back to a quote-unquote normal life. However, I arrived to the airport with enough time before my flight, and there I saw the airplanes waiting for us to go flying on them. I had a hard time talking myself into filming in the school right in the middle of everyone else. I really hope to get better at that. So the first moment I got to film a little without feeling ridiculous was at 9am. We had the cabin ready and we were just waiting for the tower to call us to take off. We had an easy and happy flight over the Ilopango lake, making sure my student refamiliarized with the airplane after a long period of time. And then I realized how awful we look flying like this. But oh well, what can we do? We have to get used to it. Hashtag new normal. It was a pretty day to fly, very sunny, very little to no wind, and then we found a friend from our own fly school. Everything goes as planned and we land at 10 p.m. One hour after we took off. We discussed the debriefing after the flight and waited one hour for our second and final flight of the day. Here again I lost the battle against the shame one more time, but I found a couple of moments to film either way. After one hour of the plane being disinfected, we started our walk around. The new rules of biosecurity that the school have implemented have been very strict. And my student passes me the handbook because it was too hot for him because of the sun. We checked the whole plane top to bottom and at 11.30 am we jumped in. Once again, because the whole airport is just beginning to work after the pandemic, all the taxiways are practically empty, as well as the nearby sectors. Now I have my new face mask which makes me look a little bit more fashion. This time the frequencies are even quieter than the previous hour. We started practicing some maneuvers a little bit more difficult than the previous hour and complete another awesome and calm flight. We practiced some BFR as well as IFR maneuvers.
By 12.30 p.m. we arrived back to the school. It was almost empty, probably because it was lunchtime, so I could film a little just with my student nearby. Once again, we discussed the flight, we say goodbye to each other, and by 1 p.m. I was in my car ready to go. I was somewhat tired, mostly because of the sun and the heat, but also because I think it will get some time for me to get used once again to the routine. I sit in the car for a few moments, getting mentally ready for a long way home. Not because it's that far, but because of the traffic. What usually is a 30-minute drive will take me around one hour this time. Great! To my surprise, the first half of the way was fairly empty. So I got my hopes up. What a fool I was. At 2 p.m. I arrived home and do the whole thing of disinfecting everything, so I took my second bath of the day. I was feeling very tired during lunch. After lunch at 2.45 p.m. I planned to work a little bit on this video. I grabbed my instruments book and play some music on Spotify. But I was feeling very sleepy, so I decided to play with my dogs to wake up. By the way, her name is Pickles. She is the young one and she is full of energy. And her name is Lola. She is the old one. After that, when I felt that I have recovered part of my energy, I tried to force myself into working, but I couldn't be bothered. So I decided to take a short nap. When I woke up at 4 p.m., it was time for my daily workout routine that I've been doing the whole quarantine. Hashtag no pain, no gain. After 2 hours, after I finished my workout at 6 p.m., I discovered one of my cats acting all weird. Doing this. I don't know either what's wrong with him. I go back to my room, take my third shower of the day. Great! Ate dinner, watch some YouTube videos and at 7.15 p.m. I really started working on this video, but by 9.30 p.m., my dear virtual friends convinced me to throw my whole life from the window to play some Smite with them, which is, as I said, the greatest MOBA of all time. A little bit past midnight, we decided enough is enough and call it a night. Lucky I had a somewhat free day the next day. So that was today's video, a day in the life of a senior instructor pilot on his first day back to work after the pandemic. Thanks very much for watching, if you enjoyed it or at least found it somewhat interesting, please give it a like and consider subscribing, I appreciate it quite a lot. I plan to start filming the days that might be somewhat interesting and trying to make some sort of vlog series out of it. So, if you would be interested to see more blogs just like this, hopefully better, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!